Hey guys, welcome to Sarf Knight Plays, East Chronicles Plus, Book 2. This will be part 6 of our last play, and... Well, I'm excited to jump back in where we left off. So, something you'll notice is, we're not quite where we exactly were when we left off. I also happen to have the plate mail. Basically, off camera, I leveled up a little bit, and... Bought the plate mail because, well... I don't want to bore everyone with constant stream of leveling, so we're going to go back to the Colony of Lava and try to fight our boss. So let's get back up here. And save right away, just because we don't really want to, you know, have to worry about too many of our these difficulties. Now, we don't want to have to fight these Minotaur guys, we don't want to have to fight those Ifrit things. Here's one right here, go around him this way. And so, hopefully, we're going to fight a boss and in five minutes or less, it's going to be over. Let's see what we have equipped. I'm gonna stay with the Clarion Ring because pairing once in a while is good. Have the equipment, it's the best equipment we can get for right now. So I say let's just try it. And actually, let's save right here. Woohoo, hi, buddy. Up here, up here, up here, come on. Okay. Darn it. That worked so well. We need him to stay up top is what we need. It's this big orb tongue thing. It's okay. Oh, we're doing much better in this time. Oh my god, so much more damage. If I beat him without getting hit, I'm gonna be pretty impressed. I'm not gonna hold my breath though. Oh, he got in a freed out. Oh, that's annoying. Let's ignore him for now. Okay, up here, come on. Both of you come over. Oh, oh, we can get behind him. Oh, that was good. Oh, there's two of freaks now. Uh, come on, Galali. I think that's what his name is. Oh god, the tongue, the tongue. I'm gonna call it a tongue, because that's pretty much what it is. Giant tongue of evil. Come on, come on. The problem is they're inside of him right now, and that's... Alright. Let's kill one of them. Get him out of the way now. Alright. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let another one out.
There we go. We didn't take a single point of damage there, and we kicked his ass. Very nice. Very nice, guys, very nice. What was that? Just over five minutes. My god, that's pretty sweet. Make sure we're not missing anything around here and continue onward. Now, we get just had that perfect play going, you know, the first time we fought him. That's okay. Amiya Village. I love all the things they have to say. Well, what if we here? You're not from around here, are you? There's an old man who lives here named Reg, a scholar, you might say. Everyone thinks of him like family. Because of all the demons, though, he's no longer able to research the Solomon Shrine. It's got him pretty down. If you can please pay him a visit and tell him stories of your journey, it'll brighten his spirits, I think. Well, I think that sounds like a good idea. What do you guys think? I always like it, you know, visit people. And what do you say, lady? Poor Karen. Ever since her daughter Maria was taken away by the demons, she shut herself in her house crying. We will the goddesses grant us mercy and save us from this horrible fate. Man, you guys rely on them for a lot of shit. Karen and Maria's house. Handmade wedding dresses hung on the wall. Maria, the demons were on the hunt earlier, and they took away my Maria, my daughter, Maria. She's been led away as a sacrifice. Oh no, the bell in the shrine is ringing again. The tone of the bell means another sacrifice is being offered. Someone was just killed, not my daughter, but her turn may be next. Oh Maria, why? Why did it have to be you? Ah, oh, it kind of sucks for you guys. Whose house is this? Lloyd and Gorto's house. Rame Village used to be a thriving temple town, sitting in the blissful shadow of Solomon Shrine. But as you can see, that shadow's turned dark and sinister on us. Such are the whims of fate. Life sucks, then you die. Wow. That went really quickly from being kind of philosophical to being, well, I guess still philosophical, more like, to the point. Hadat and Sada's abode. Ah, traveling swordsman. You have the eyes of one who's seen many things, yet always desires to see more. Yeah, thanks. It's locked. Oh, you all suck. Let's see, what else do we got? What's over here? These are the graves of all those who were sacrificed. None of the bodies have ever been recovered, but we couldn't just leave it at that, you know? We lost so many in the last six months. Here lies Tittles, the prudent. Here lies Shyster, the honest. Here lies Dana, the displaced. Here lies Wissuo, the favored customer. Oh, I already tells. Here lies Ike, the ageless. Here lies Marl, the kind and gentle. Here lies Keith, a just and righteous heart. Hey, isn't that one guy Keith? We're looking for him. Or here's that monster dude. Hey, what do you want, girl? Daddy, where did you go? I've looked everywhere, but I can't find him. Daddy! Are you a traveler? If so, I've got some good advice for you. There's an ancient well in Old Man Reg's basement. A 
water there is crystal clear. Take a drink of it, and you'll be amazed at how refreshed you feel. Old Man Reg, I'm a Blitz, Polly, and Tanya. I just can't relax these days. I keep thinking the demons could attack us at any moment. It doesn't help that Karen's daughter, Maria, was just abducted as a sacrifice. Maria was Sadat's fiance. Poor guy. I doubt he's taking it very well. I mean, can you blame him? No, probably not. Rami has been in a bad way lately. From time to time, demons come pouring out of the shrine, ransacking the village from another for another sacrifice. Just the other day, a girl named Maria was taken. And it's not just Ramia either. The monsters have been taking sacrifices from all the villages. I never want to leave the village. There are demons out there. Demons! Well, I admit that demons are kind of scary, but you know. Keep doors firmly shut. The fence begins with you. Am I right? That's like an important place. Let's not go there yet. Solemn's bat battle pest. Welcome, I sell only the finest here. Don't be shy, feel free to, to look, touch, and even try on for size. To look, touch, and even try on for size. Well, okay then. You're a young one, but you certainly do seem to know your way around the sword. You look ferocious, like a lion. Rawr. Wow, lady. I kind of get the feeling that you're a really great guy. So, can we go without, you know, paying for things? But if you tend to fight the demons around these parts, you'll need some quality equipment to do the deed. To do the deed indeed. How about you give me a sword? Uh, <laughs> there's a hypercutter that I can't get. Let's see, you got a shield? Same shields as we had before. Oh, there's reflex mail. Which is probably more expensive than what we can buy. Thank you, please come again. Oh, I will. Oh, that's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Well, at least she knows how to make good armor. Good young swordsman and shit. Don't know what, how I quite feel about that, but you know. Hey mister, I've never seen you before. What's your name? Mine's Faye. Kinda girly, I know. Adel told the little boy his name. Mr. Adel, Mr. Adel, you going off an adventure, Mr. Adel? It can get pretty rough around here, so be careful, okay? Yeah, sure, okay, whatever. Three days ago, my friend Maria was captured by demons and taken away for sacrifice. I wish I could go save her, but someone like me wouldn't last two minutes in there. There are always guards posted at the entrance to, sh to the shrine anyway, so I'd never even get in. Greg's residence. Said he has an awesome basement with awesome water. Water's more important than the old man, let's be honest. Oh, so it's a full heal. No medics, no other rest places, so we just go here and full heal. That works for me. I'm just an old man. My time in this world is about up. Demons or no, if they should take me. It'd be, I'd be most grateful. Well, good for you, old dude. Seeing at least you know. Yeah, guardhouse. I know that if the demons come out of the shrine again, I'll be the first one they attack. We'd love to fight back, but we just don't have the manpower for it. it might not count for much but I'm going to stay ever vigilant right here and warn everyone if they come back. Why well, are you just special? You're, you're an upright young man person. Who are you? So you're... Hmm, interesting. My name is Gorto. I hate to be a bother, 
that I really need you to take need your take on something. Can you spare a moment? Three days ago, I had a really strange dream. In it, there were these two girls who told me a red-haired swordsman would soon be arriving in the village. They said they wanted me to offer him my help. And here you are. Edel told the guard about the scroll that had led him to Solomon Shrine. I see. But even if I let you through this gate, there's still another gate beyond, guarded by demons. You'll need to get past them to get into Solomon Shrine. And as you'd expect, they don't take kindly to humans passing through. Unless you can turn yourself into a monster or something, you've run up against a brick wall. Goto's, Gorto's expression turned solemn. There's a friend of mine, Seda. He went in recently. I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. Man, we have a lot of flashbacks recently. Man, he's got that big sword. Open the gate, Gorto. I'm going to rescue Maria, even if I have to take down every last demon to do so. Seda, look, I understand your feelings, I really do. But let's not do anything rash, okay? I mean, they're just going to sacrifice, you know, your girlfriend or whatever or whatnot, and, you know, they're just going to keep sacrificing people, but I mean, really, what can we do? I mean, we're really not equipped to handle this. You need to calm down and wait for the right chance. Jump without thinking, and you'll just get yourself killed. So you want me to just sit around in the vain hopes that a perfect opportunity comes along? If I do that, Rhea's going to die! And I'm sorry, but I can't... I just can't let that happen. I know all that. I do understand the gravity of the situation, and I feel exactly the same way you do. And why are you standing in my way? Maria is my life. There's n not going to be a perfect opportunity. It's now or never, and never is not an option. Seda. Stand aside, Gorto. Guess Sada would be more correct in Japanese. I'm sorry, but I can't just let Maria die. I hope you understand. Sada, you. Make sure the skate stays shut. Seems like a badass. He's probably gonna get his ass kicked, but you know. Knowing him as well as I do, I expect he'll give the demons a run for their money. But Solomon's Shrine is many times larger than this village, and the layout is about as labyrinthine as it gets. I guess the best thing I could do to help would to help you would be to open this gate, but I'm a little afraid to. You may be strong, but I don't think you'll be able to infiltrate the shrine without a bit of forethought. Hmm. Before you head into the shrine, you should go ask Hadat for some advice. He's got a good head on his shoulders, he'll be able to help you cook up a plan of attack for sure. Well, fine. Ugh. Everybody just wants to keep making me run around. What's up here? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, well that makes perfect sense then. Alright, back to Hadat's place. Hadat, 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 Hadat. Hadat and Sadness's place. Alright, old man. Is there something you needed? Adol told Hadat that he came to seek his aid, as Gorto had suggested. Ah? Huh? You actually want to go into that demon-infested shrine of your own free will? Yeah. Hmm. Adol Kristen, I have a favor to ask of you. I have a son named Sada, but I haven't seen him for three days now. Our family is in possession of a rare sword, an heirloom, and that sword went missing three days ago as well. Goto says that my son Seda has gone to the shrine to rescue his fiancée, Maria, who was captured by the demons. If you sincerely do intend to infiltrate the shrine of Solomon, would you please try to find my son and bring him home? I'm going there anyway, might as well. I see. Thank you. I'll do everything I can to aid you in this mission, starting with this. Acquired the Lush Shell. The Lush Shell? With this Leela shell, you can get in touch with me from anywhere in the world. If you have any problems or need any advice, please don't hesitate to use it. I regret that I won't be able to fight at your side. But you're a strong, smart fellow. You'll do just fine on your own. I'm sure I have. Uh, I'm sure that I have faith in this place, basically. Whatever. Alright, so we have a shell. 
Nidal tried speaking to the Leela shell in an old man's and an old man's voice echoed in response. Oh, Idol, I'm sorry to be such a burden, but please keep an eye out for Seda. It would mean the world to me. I'm gonna keep saying Seda. Even though I already said I should say Sada earlier, but that's okay. Oh ho, so Sada. So Hada gave you the Leela shell, did he? You can use that to bug Hada from anywhere in East, right? Pretty handy little artifact to have on hand. Alright, give me a sec. I'll open the gate. Well, thank you. You're so sweet. Well, there you are then. Take care, Adel. So like I said in the previous game, I really love the music. Oh, what do you want, Gatekeeper Zerot? What's that? You beat Adel? And this is your proof? Adel showed his own equipment to the guards. Where are you going, guys? Hmm, it does match with the description we were given. Alright, nice work. We'll report this at once. Do you know where Mr. Saba's room is? It's on the third floor of that building. Oh, what is it? The one priest that Priest Mesa used to cover. I don't know what it's called, but it's east from the shrine entrance. Got that? Maybe now we'll finally have some peace. Go on, you should report this right away. Bye bye! Hey, what do you think you're doing? No time to talk now. Go about your business. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to murder all of you. So much to head east. Wizards, oh my. Okay, so up here is definitely not the right way. That's fine. What's around this way? Anything special? Yeah, the music is just awesome. Like I was saying before, like, the whole game... Whoever the composer is, which I should know because I have all this music on hand somewhere, they just did a really good job with creating the whole feel for how everything should kind of be portrayed, etc. So I have no idea where we're going exactly. Well, good to know. What's out this way? No magic for you. Okay, so that's just that exit from right there. I think I need to start using my magic a little better, so I can use it for positioning purposes. I think I remember about this place is that it is a freaking labyrinth. Like, really. It's very easy to get lost in certain parts of it. What's this one? Nothing in here. I'm gonna try to light magic really quick to make sure we're not missing anything. Nope. If we really need help, we can ask. Not for help. I think that we'll be good on our own. Maybe we'll kill enough stuff I can get the paper cutter. So that door is sealed. Night dude, it's up here. 
passes, please. There's a big meeting going on up ahead. If you don't have a pass, you aren't getting in, period. I heard a human manage to sneak in here. Probably some bald marine or something. That seems like the norm these days. I'm so hungry. I could go eat me a good old fashioned root burger. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Alright, so we don't want to be there. It's not quite correct. East. Maybe I just went into the wrong location. I think there's a lot of places to go at this level. So we're going to go up here, we're going to run around. We already looked in there and there's nothing interesting. Anything up here? No. Work to a scrub. Now we're really looking at down here. Oh, it's laser beams. Alright, so we're down on this level now. What's in this area? This takes us out over here. Oh. What was that? He must have barely hit us with this little freaking magic spell thing. Where does this go to? This takes us downstairs. So now we're on the bottom level. What's over here? Besides that guy. Oh, I hate myself. Alright. Oh my god. Well, we know where things are and they're not. We also know that we need a pass to get into the one area, still. It doesn't look like it's around here. That just goes back around this way, which we can get back here by going up here and around and down. I really don't want to do. There's no reason it's useless for us. So this is east. We can go over here. Not quite sure where. Straighties come up here. Ignore this whole part of the area now. I like liking it, guys. We're down below us. The big question is: is where do we need to go to keep making progress? Not up there, apparently. Here we go. 
else for here? did come from that way already beforehand. So I need a pass and I'm still not sure where to get one. Hey you! What's that? A report from Mr. Saba? I'm afraid she's attending a conference in the Northern Reception Hall. An urgent matter regarding Adol, you say? Very well then, I'll secure you a pass to get through security. He is priority one right now, after all, so any information you can provide will welcome. Anything to nip this problem in the bud, you know? Well, that was fairly easy. Okay, fine. Okay, we have our pass. Well, these are what I thought was gonna be. I need to go around that way at all. Now we can just come down around this way. Back up here. Is there anything this way? Any importance at all? No, but it's the hole we have to go around. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. Thank y'all, Nita. Summer down. I need to use the magic again. Probably need to flip this. Yeah, I like design card the that gives off an unsettling, unsettling light. Oh, I imagine so, given that it's a little, you know, disturbing to begin with. So there's really nothing else around here, right? Nope. Just the guy we talked to with our pets. Alright, go on in. But when you're done, get back to your post, Pronto. Dude. Wow, there's a lot of pieces a lot of damage. The whole thing does not look... Even the least bit amused. Alright, so... Thing around. Where does this go? It's locked. Good. Good. Everything in this thing. Oh, this is wrong. I just got hit multiple times right there. Great. I don't know which way I want to go. I do need it. Kind of 
have XP though, so I'm not gonna judge anything too harshly. Acquired Ring of Ease. In a soft green hue, when worn, it calms the soul and soothes away one's trouble. I have consumption of magic power. Well, that's gonna be really useful. Alright, so is that just where that went? Yeah, okay, so that's the exact same area. Is there anything else I missed in here before I, you know, backtrack or something? Nope, same area. Alright, so. So this is at least nice for a change. So this is locked. Oh god. Guys, that bad. I thought they'd be worse. Apparently, I was mistaken. Right, so there's no point in coming down here at all. I will, I mean, you know. I'm down here for the important mission of getting whatever random stuff's down there. any specifics on what was being said. Intended sacrifices have escaped. That by itself wouldn't be such a problem, but the, they also got away with the shrine key. Adol should get it in his, ha in his hands on it. There'd be no telling how much trouble he'd cause. They've been quiet since their escape, too. No sign of their presence that we've been able to detect. The entire shrine has been placed in high alert so that we may capture this red haired swordsman. One misstep on his part, and we will have him. 
even if you mix it to a different sector, you won't get far without knowing our password, Mika. Yep, as long as we keep that to ourselves, we can't possibly get anywhere important. Now about those countermeasures. Oh, but I know your guys' password. I'm going to die, obviously, is what's going to happen as soon as I know your guys' password. That's okay. Now I'm gonna find somewhere else I'm supposed to get to. At this point, we've got a lot of places, but we still haven't gone everywhere. Not down here. Oh god, we're gonna die again. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. The opposite of fine at the moment. So we have a password. It's supposed to help us get somewhere. But then we gotta go back now, and that'll take us somewhere because we can't get to that locked region. So we have the shrine keys, we can't get anywhere that's technically completely locked. Password you may not perceive. What's the password? That's the one. We'll open the gate right away for you. The sacrificial human has escaped and seems to be hiding out in the subterranean canal. If you find him, report back immediately. Sounds like a good idea, dude. Now we're in Toba's sector. Anything? Well, I guess nothing else interesting over here we can get, so. Oh crap, he's basically unharmable. Glad we, you know, got that out of the way. This guy shoots laser beams, so let's not fight him right now. What's in here? This is as far as you go, Adolf Kristen. Opposing us as you are would be foolish at best. I suggest that you take your leave, quickly. So you reject my offer, I extend to you my goodwill, and you would spit on me. Fool. May you live out your days as that which you have struggled against for so long. This form is most appropriate for one who would so readily dance at the goddess's whim. Alright. 
Is that you, Adel? Calm down now. You're not making any sense. What language is that you're speaking? Greg might have some clue, but I don't have the slightest idea what you're saying to me. I'm sorry. You're an asshole. Well, okay, fine. I wonder if this is what you're supposed to have. What's supposed to happen to you here? So, we get turned into a demon. We can't do anything. So now what we could do is we could equip the new magic that we have. But we can return back to Mami Village. Where's Reg? It's the guardhouse. Where's that old man? And he can remove my curse. Curse of curses. Now what would a demon want with an old fool like me? Adel desperately tried to explain who he was. Hmm? A curse, is it? Alright, I understand. Can you explain to me exactly how this happened? It will explain the manner in which he had been cursed. Mmm, -hmm, I see. Quite a powerful wizard, then. First order of business is to get you turned human again, but shouldn't be too difficult. It seems the priest Davi is said to have possessed a magical artifact known as the Sacred Cup. If you fill it with a certain kind of water, it becomes blessed, and the resulting holy water can nullify curses. The sacred cup is said to be somewhere in the shrine, in a room with walls of color distinct from its surroundings. Find the room. Finding the room is your first step toward recovering your true form. Thanks, old man! Motherfucker. At least nothing will attack us outright, it seems. But we still do have to worry about them from the perspective of them not realizing who we are and then trying to blast us horribly. Yeah, I'll give Maria back to you, alright. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I can't see you leave! How the fuck did you get out? Oh shit man, we can lose our jobs! Personally I found the whole spiel thing there really kind of funny. Alright, so we need the sacred cup. Sacred cup, sacred cup, sacred cup. Sacred cup. In a room distinct from all of its surroundings. Oh, color this thing from the surroundings. Sorry, dude, but I'm gonna kill you. Why? Because I can't. Same thing with you. I can attack me, so I might as well murder the hell out of you. Same thing with you. Die. Wow, that's kind of hilarious, I'm really not going to lie. But it's like, we're just going to let this guy hit us, even though, you know, he's kind of eating the hell out of us, but, you know, it doesn't really matter because, yeah. Well, okay, so let's both just go that way, and just go, it's locked. Well, it's locked on us. There, it goes there. Where does this go? These red knights, I can't seem to do anything about magic, does nothing to them, etc, etc. 
there's a solemn atmosphere throughout the room. Oh, hi. Acquired the sacred cup. That makes life easy. Oh, that's what I want to do. Now I'm gonna go use this in Rava's village place thing. Let's use this to... Do this. Silver cup of simplistic design. Okay, fine. You. Ah, you're back. And with the sacred cup, no less. Now I'll have you back to normal in no time. Let's see what we have here. Apparently he loves it. Rag took the sacred cup in his hands and studied it exact excitedly. It is. It really is. It's the sacred cup. At long last. Oh, sorry, sorry. You want some sacred water, did you, huh? Well, yeah. I can say with some pride that this old well is another of my research specimens, and a mighty good one. The water supply has never once run out. It's 700 in 700 years' time. If my findings are correct, it should meet all the necessary criteria for sacred water, and then some. Mix one part reg special well water with one sacred cup, and what do you get? Holy water all the way! Reg filled the sacred cup with well water. Take a drink. This should return you to your human form. Adol took a drink from the sacred cup, now filled with water. Sip. Huzzah! Marvelous! Ah, you're a sight for sore eyes, my boy. Though that dark roof form certainly wasn't without its charms. Well, it's definitely useful from the uh, perspective of nothing wanting to hit me and then I'd be able to just kill everything without any say, you know, kill everything with impunity. Unfortunately, that really wouldn't help me in any other matters, so let's go here because I could probably either buy the hyper cutter or something awesome. We know you sell all the finest. Hypercutter. This sword is amazing. It'll cut through anything, and I do mean anything. It's a steal at only 10,000 gold. Oh, yes, we already talked. You horrible flirt. And by horrible, I mean it is not unappreciated. But anyhow. Now we shall cut through everything! Alright, let's go up here. Let's get back up north. And I guess we'll put this. No reason not to. Oh god. Good thing we saved. Otherwise I'd be very upset. Let's go get the hypercutter again. Cause I'm retarded. Alright, we can't get in there like that. These guys are pretty bad at their job, but let's be, let's be really honest here. Oh, it's you again. You're an awfully busy little chap, aren't you? Oh god, it's the same thing. They have no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's amazing! I actually want to blast you guys to oblivion. Yes, that is the case. What is that? 
you're trying to fight me, little Kristen, the legendary hero of amazing? No, it's not gonna happen. To find the legendary hero of amazing is not a good idea. Especially, you know, when you don't have any, uh, fill as your own. Well, okay, so they got loose down here in the waterworks. This is what the one thing said. So, they're down here somewhere, is what it's trying to say. Waterworks, I mean, subterranean canals, but the same difference. The sign is etched into the door resembling a hydra. It seems to be locked. a whole lot down here until we get this water lowered, it looks like. Well, now this is a surprise. It is Adol Kristen. Bots? It's me, Bots, the miner from Lens. I was captured by demons in Restini and, well, you know the rest, I suppose. Now, don't be too surprised, but Lily is here too. She escaped here with the rest of us. She simply won't shut up about you. I do believe she's smitten. Pretty smooth, lover boy. You work fast. You should go see her and get what's coming to you. Hey, aren't you Adol? I doubt you'd remember me. I'm Noi from the Colony of Lava. A demon named Keith told me something before we came here. It seems that the passage leading to the goddess's palace has been sealed off in some peculiar manner. But if you touch a goddess statue with something once owned by the goddesses, it will go where you need to be. Okay, cool. We got away from the demons easily enough, but Maria was captured. If we don't hurry, she'll be sacrificed. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Hey, Lilia. Adol, can it be? Is it really you? It's like a dream. I never thought I'd see you again. I was just out walking not far from the village when some demons on the hunt came out of nowhere. We all fled here after a demon named Keith saved us from the bell tower where we were being held. While we were escaping, he gave me this key and said to pass it to you. It's the master key for all the shrine doors. I'm quite certain you'll be able to make good use of it, Adol. Received shrine key. Sweet! A ominous voice suddenly echoed from all around Adol. I must congratulate you on all your accomplishments, lapdog. I'm sure the goddesses have a treat for you. You are a most helpful soul, for you've led me right to the hideout of these obnoxious runaways. These people have learned all too much about this forsaken land, so of course, I simply cannot permit them to live. You cope well with your own suffering, swordsman. How might you fare in dealing with the torment of others? My precious little runaways, if you so deeply fear sacrifice, I'll spare you that fate in favor of another. They're an asshole. All at once, all sound was strained from the immediate vicinity. For a moment, Adol feared he had been stricken deaf. As a token of my thanks to you for finding these wretches, I spared you from the spell's effects. Behold, and despair how powerless you truly are. It was as if time had stopped for everyone except Adol. Dude, it's horrible! I think he turned them all to stone! All the prisoners in the shrine were turned to stone? There's no way for the blessed water to work on them. They'd have to drink it, and statues certainly can't do that. I'm afraid my knowledge of the goddess, goddesses and priests only extends so far. I'm not sure what other options we have. 
Please, Ada, take a look around the shrine and see if you can find any clue, anything at all. Man, you are a jackass! I'm going to annihilate you! I'm afraid that I'm going to have to annihilate you at some other point in time. So apparently, we've already run out for an hour. So alright, let's save. Alright guys, next time we're going to continue on and undo this stoning and kill that jackass that turned everyone to stone. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.